What's up, YouTube? First and foremost, shout out to Alien Army. Stand up, raise up, hit a comment. Well, hit a like and then drop a comment. If you don't know what Alien Army is, that's people who rock with me heavy, rock with me tough. I always hit the like button and dropping a comment. Really easy to do, uh, especially with small channels. Uh, for every 10 likes and for every 10 comments I get, uh, generally YouTube will go ahead and show my video to 100 new people. Right now, my algorithm's not looking the best because I was inconsistent for a, f for a few weeks, but it seems like I'm back on track now. However, if I actually get uh, 100 likes and 100 comments, instead of it showing to a thousand people it shows to two thousand people so uh instead of you know dropping comments to big channels or or any channel that doesn't respond me i actually respond to 99.9 percent .9 of my comments any questions concerns if you don't even know what to put as a comment an emoji man uh you know alien a thumbs up a high a wave checking in checking in i've been getting those so i i like rocking with that uh nonetheless i do want to jump in this video quite quick i am homeless if you've never seen one of my you know this is the first time you watch one of my videos i have a full video about that i've like over i think i'm close to 70 now if not over 65 videos i have a lot of content so you know i ask that you rock with me especially if you like my content <clears throat> so i'm gonna jump straight in this video why do homeless people talk to themselves uh this was actually uh recommended from uh the algorithm from the youtube studio something that uh you have when you're i guess you're a content creator or whatever you got that on your phone as well and uh you can do the, the research tab and it was one of the things so i was like i could definitely talk about this because i do talk to myself i talk to myself um I try, uh, so I'll, I'll get into that. I talk to myself before I was homeless. I talk to myself during when I'm homeless. I do try to watch what I say when I'm in public and I'm talking to myself. And, and uh, I'll talk about uh, the other homeless people that I've seen uh, talk to themselves. And I'll also talk about the, when people weren't homeless and they talk to themselves. So this is going to be a whole variety uh, type video. Um, there's some things that uh, people talk, you know, they, they say out loud that they don't mean to. Um, Generally speaking, if I uh, if, if I get angry about something or I hear something that I really disagree with, um, normally if it's uh, something like anger, I actually growl. You know, I'm not ashamed to admit that. Uh, my spirit animal is a uh, North American timber wolf. I am an alien. I'm also a human, and uh, that is my spirit animal, and uh, it's been like that my whole life. Uh, nonetheless, uh, I'll growl, and I don't I don't mean to. It comes out of left field. And uh, it's not something I can mimic. <clears throat> um, normally, if uh, normally if I growl, it actually scares people, and I don't mean to do. Uh, you know, I, I growl in fights too. Like, I, there's you know, let's talk talking to themselves. How many times have people been in fights and we're screaming stuff? Uh, I've done that quite a few times. Normally, it's not uh, it's not until I'm on top of the person and I, uh, I I I'm basically having my way of uh, you know I'm dealing the damage. You know what I'm saying? I don't I don't talk when I'm getting hit because there's, there's no plea deals, there's no begging for mercy, there's nothing like that. There's no no wincing but uh there's been uh, several occasions when i fought somebody i screamed some stuff that i i had no idea that i was screaming or saying and uh you know i'm sure people have done that before as well i thought to myself before i was homeless um especially with tv shows and movies like um i've talked about it before um big brother is uh, my favorite reality tv show right and um watching that i've clapped when um, they've uh, you know they they uh, the house flipped and somebody yeah somebody else got voted out strategically or they were playing for the power of veto and I was really rooting for somebody and they actually won so they can get themselves off the chopping block and it, I know that sounds funny it's like who does that with reality TV show well it's something that I really like and something I'm interested in right but I mean I do that with sports all the time um UFC, uh, you know, sometimes uh, there'll be UFC stuff, uh, you know, on the TV uh, when I wasn't homeless, and I wouldn't know who these fighters are, but, like, they're just going to the ring. So, they're, you know, I'm not talking about, you know, uh, real popular people like Anderson Silva or, um, you know, um, uh, I don't know, I don't want to throw a bunch of names out there, but, uh, you know, Anderson Silva... Um, man it's funny <laughs> when i have the camera on i can't think of everybody that i know but uh once the camera's on i, I that's the only dude i can think of <laughs> um but yeah so uh with ufc watching somebody uh like when they have these smaller smaller events or it's not a pay-per-view it's people that i really wouldn't know and they would put the, the match cards out how uh what their age is um what's their read event uh, reach advantage um how tall they are how many um ko's they got and what i always liked is even before that that information popped on the screen, I would look at those fighters and I would talk to myself out loud, and I, I would be like, you know, hey, that that's the dude who's gonna win, or if it was a, you know a woman fight, that's the woman who's going to win, and I would go ahead and say that stuff. And what's really really funny is is like a good ninety percent of the time I was hundred percent accurate. I always picked the fights, especially when I didn't know them. I can call fights when when I do know them as well, but uh, nonetheless. That in uh, sports, uh, you know, watching uh, watching football, baseball, basketball, um, 
most of the time it's talking when uh, it's football or UFC or uh, you know basketball something that's a little bit more um, you know higher tempo like I'm not gonna scream and shout on soccer when there has you know it's been 30 minutes and somebody still hasn't uh, made a goal yet you know and that tell you the truth I don't watch soccer so you know that's just how I am um, but talking out uh, on the streets being homeless and stuff like that um, normally it's when something uh, you know bothers me or shocks me and normally it happens inside of a store uh, you know or I'm walking uh, like let's say I'm walking through um, uh, a truck stop and I see something that's disgusting on the ground you know uh, like I you know use self-protection um, you know uh, somebody's rig uh, glass uh, glass things that people use for stuff you know, if you catch my drift, you know, I have to say this stuff in the YouTube parameters so I don't get in trouble. But those kind of things, I see something like that, uh, my natural reaction, even though that, you know, this lifestyle does desensitize you quite a bit if you let it. I do my best abilities to, to not let that uh, let, let that happen to me. However, still seeing, you know, like, it doesn't matter how much time, you know, how many times you've seen dog crap or stepped in dog crap. When you do, you scream and shout about it, right? So I guess that's the same thing, too. If I stepped in dog crap before and I'm out there talking to myself, you know, saying, you know, whoever, who, you know, whoever let their dog did this is a sack of shit, you know what I'm saying? Or I see, uh, uh, you know, one of the paraphernalia things I talked about, I see like, oh man, that's disgusting, you know, stuff like that. Um, there are uh, homeless people that um, talk to themselves and uh, they do it consciously. It makes them look a little bit more crazier. Normally when they do that, they're, uh, they're, I've seen them talk to themselves in a way where like, you know, and I need to get well. Uh, it's hard for me to mimic people at times, but like basically um, they're consciously doing that looking for sympathy, or at least that's the way it comes off to me. There's other times when they're just talking to themselves and they're laughing, having a great old time, and normally that's when they're in like a euphoric state or really, uh, really off that sauce. You know what I'm saying? Um, those are definitely general things. I think those, I think those are the things that um, you know that make you bust out laughing. Um, you know, like you ever have a joke pop in your head and it's an appropriate time to start laughing, but you can't contain it. Well, in those, in those situations, um, they could be in a euphoric place and they definitely could be off that sauce, but, um, they're, they're having a good time. And I can actually tell you a story about that real quick. Um, uh, people that know that, uh, that I used to drive trucks before you drive a truck, you have to be on a truck uh, with a trainer. Uh, most mega carriers are like this, and normally it's <clears throat> normally it's uh, it could be something as simple as a few weeks or 30,000 miles or 50,000 miles. So, when I got on the truck with my trainer, this is uh, when I actually had my CDL. So, like, I had a trainer that I, I, I was on, I've talked about it before when I uh, was a permanent student driver, and then I had a different trainer when I actually got my license. When I got my license, I got to, you know, ride with this dude for 30 to 50,000 miles, and upon doing so, then I'll get upgraded and then I'll get my truck. So, um, there's like a little part of you know getting to know the uh, know the person. By the way, shout out to my trainer, uh, awesome dude. Uh, I wish that dude was actually my dad. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he was an awesome dude, man. Um, and uh, uh, when I was on his truck, I um, there, there's a few things that I know about myself that if somebody was to live live with me, I would give them a heads up about, right? So one of the heads up things I told him was like, listen, when it gets really dark or it gets really you know um, you know I get tired and if I get mentally fatigued, <clears throat> I um I, I get a little bit delirium. You know, like I start laughing at stuff, especially things that that, that pop in my head. And uh, he's like, "Oh, okay." He's like, "Yeah." He's like, "You know, that's kind of normal." I was like, "I was like, I kind of think that it's like a focus thing, you know." At nighttime, um, but especially uh, something very childish and immature that I I might not laugh at during the day. Uh, at nighttime, I would find funny. You know what I'm saying? And uh, so I'll, I'll tell you, one night um, I'm uh, I'm driving and I'm just like laughing my ass off. And uh, he comes uh, out from the, um, uh, the bunk area, and uh, it's about to be his turn to drive, and then it's about to be my turn to, to stop driving, eat something, uh, and then, then go to sleep, and then restart the whole process again the next day. <clears throat> so I'm laughing. He, um, he was in a good mood, and he was like, you know, hey, man, what the hell are you laughing at, dude? He's like, if it's that funny, you got to share it. And I'm like, dude, you don't want to know. So, like, I still have my senses with me. I'm like, I'm like dude, you don't want to know the stupid shit that I think of when I'm tired, man. It, it's cool. He's like, no, man. It, he's, like, he's like, you can't, you can't sit, you can't even drive without having a smile on your face. He's like, you know, you know please tell me. So I was really tired, and I was driving, and what popped in my mind was stupid, immature, uh, childish uh, scenarios that, that I guess I was thinking, and uh, the actual scenario was, um, uh, you know, like, if I had a skit comedy um, show, kind of like Dave Chappelle, what would be one of my skits or what one of my bits would be, and it'd be, um, you know, 
uh, strippers with disgusting names, like names that, you know, it didn't matter how good looking they were, you wouldn't want them to touch you. And inside my mind and, and what I was thinking about while I was driving was literally um, somebody, um, you know, uh, like, you know, uh, NMC DJ going, now to the center stage is Boo Boo Kaka Crack. Everybody make a nice round of applause for Boo Boo Kaka Crack. And you can tell she's in a great mood when she has that summer sausage gravy leaking from her leg. This kind of lap dance does come with a used napkin. You know, something along those, but real theatrical in my head. And hopefully I was able to, uh, you know, uh, to it <laughs> see i don't I, I don't quite find it that funny what i'm saying right now but at that time anyway, shout out shouts out to you if, if you thought what i said was funny you know, and i do get those ideas all the time i wish i had a skit comedy um you know show uh, i know that in my videos i'm a, a lot more serious um i do have a very funny side most of the time i make people laugh constantly it's probably like the easiest way to um you know get somebody to get, the, get their guards down everybody likes to laugh <clears throat> i just haven't been able to um uh, showcase that very much on uh, on this YouTube channel uh, thus far. Maybe in the future I can, but uh, nonetheless, I I go ahead and I do that whole spill, and the whole time I'm doing it, I'm giggling and I'm laughing, and I'm like, you know, and he's like, he's like, bro, dude, dude, he's like, I can see the humor in that, and he, you know, he was laughing too. He's like, bro, I see the humor in that, but man, you know, you should, probably shouldn't be so honest when somebody says what you're laughing at, you know. So I mean, uh, <laughs> I threw that story in. That's pretty funny, uh, but nonetheless. Um, when somebody's talking crazy, and what I mean by talking crazy is like, you know, uh, you know, people need to watch their backs, um, you know, you know, I got that, I got that thing for them, blah blah blah, you know, that kind of stuff. There, I think it's either two things. It's, um, well, I mean, it's probably more than two things. Uh, it could be having a uh, paranoid uh, uh, psychosis moment of some sort. Uh, they could also be doing this intimidation factor, where what they're saying is, is they, they, you know, basically saying certain things to, for people to get away from them. And I can relate to that. I mean, there's a lot of times I don't like people uh, near me at all, especially strangers or somebody gives me the wrong vibe and stuff. Um, you know, saying something crazy and off the wall or whispering it or talking under your breath could make somebody not get close to you. So I've seen people do that and then I also think it's a psychosis thing or a paranormal, par not paranormal, um, like, a, um, like a, I don't know, a, uh, like a psychosis moment of paranoia <clears throat> and um, they're going through it. Then there's other times where people are doing it where they're um, literally, you know, they're they're looking for sympathy or they're, you know, like, but there's there's times where, I, when in my car when nobody's around, I'm, I'm constantly talking to myself. I pray out loud. Um, I often read out loud. I often read um, the same thing twice uh, just to get a better understanding. And so I may read something where I don't say, you know, I'm not reading out loud and then I'll read it out loud and then I even, uh, I can digest even more information. And I think that's pretty normal. Um, I think it's very normal that people, you know, especially watching sports talk to themselves. I think it's pretty damn normal, um, you know, that they're rooting for their team. I think it's pretty normal that if you see something disgusting on the ground or you step in dog crap that you, uh, you know, you, you, you say something out loud and, you know, you get really pissed off. I've seen people go, you know, to the extreme of stepping on dog crap and they're throwing stuff and, you know, kicking and screaming and, you know, making a big scene. Um, you know, the way I kind of live is life is uh, life is short. I'm not trying to get mad at uh, over every little thing. You know what I'm saying? And then also people talking to themselves <clears throat> when they're throwing hands. And I mean, you see that in UFC all the time. Um, what Conor McGregor when he was fighting uh, that one dude, he's like, "Let's talk now. Let's talk now." And uh, uh, I think that guy's name was Khabib. Um, but yeah, yeah, Khabib was like, "Let's talk now." And he was, you know, drilling up uh, Conor McGregor. Really wish Conor McGregor would have won that fight. Just let you know. Uh, see here. So, I mean, yeah, why do homeless people talk to themselves? Uh, I think I have uh, explained it pretty well, even though that this wouldn't be that long of a video. Um, real quick, too, if you want to show me support, you want to show me love, uh, my cash app's the same as my YouTube name, Alien Ascend. I'll link it in the description. I know it's not that long of a video that, uh, that I normally do. I try to do at least 20 minutes, but I don't want to, I don't want to keep fluffing it up. I think that I was, uh, I was pretty direct in here. So, you know, thumbs up and drop a comment and subscribe. Thank you so much.